Hey, what's up guys? Prepping that here. Happy Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's right. It's today. Um, I love Irish culture. I used to work with a Irish general contractor. He was a master uh, carpenter. I've never seen uh, the likes of him uh, you know, ever again. He was he was awesome. Uh, crazy guy, but uh, we used to spend our days making cabinets and listening to the Dubliner. So I know a lot of Irish music. Uh, I don't drink. That's just by choice. I love beer. I love a good beer. I love a good IPA. It's just delicious. But I, I stopped two years ago. I don't drink anymore. And the reason is uh, my kids. I just don't want them to see me drinking. I don't want to give them that get out of jail card. You know, I don't want any... When they're, grow, they're just six and seven right now. But when they grow up, they're going to grow up not seeing me ever drink alcohol. And so they won't have that get out of jail card. Like uh, if they ever get in trouble, alcohol related type of trouble, they won't be able to say, well, you do it, dad. Because, nope, I don't do it. And that's it. Like I said, I, I love it. But um, if you are a responsible man and a responsible uh, father, um, yeah. The, remember, your kids will never listen to you. But they will never fail to imitate you. Okay? In the end, they will do as you do. They might not listen to what you say. Do this, do that. And this goes in this, goes out that way. But they will never fail to imitate you. So I'm just being the kind of man that uh, I want my son to be. You know, I, I'm being the kind of person that I want my, my daughter to be. They won't, they won't have that. And that's the reason. I love, like I said, I love a good beer. This was a, a decision I made two years ago. Going strong. I want a beer every day. I still think about it every day. But uh, I, I put that on, on myself. It's like, hey. I'm going to drink when they are out of the house, when they're gone. You know, then I'll have, I'm sure, uh, if we don't destroy the planet before that, we'll have some amazing IPAs by then. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I wanted to talk about rifles. I love rifles. I, myself, am a student of the way of the rifle. I have received um, uh, instruction, rifle one, rifle two, but I train every day. And I put my hands on this rifle every day. You might be wondering why. Well, you know, I live here in the mountains and uh, it sleeps by my bed, okay? And uh, anytime I go out, I get up at 4.15 every morning because I go rocking every morning with all my gear. All this gear, my uh, rucksack and my uh, chest rig. I go walk at 5 a.m. It's about two miles, you know, loop that I do. There's a bigger loop that I want to start doing, but I have to get up earlier because uh, it takes some time and I need to, you know, leave for work. Uh, the reason I use my gear and uh, my rifle every day is to get used to it, to know how, what works with what, you know, to know what feels comfortable and what doesn't work. You know, when we, uh, uh, as I have mentioned probably in a previous video, I am part of a mutual assistance group that I helped form. It, it started as two of us and now there's 12 of us and we are training this weekend on Sunday and hopefully I can make some videos. I'm going to try to um record some and share uh of the things we do we all get together every other sunday and then we do a hike with all our gear on and then we come back and then we do some running and gunning drills that involve running getting winded getting your heart rate up and having to put shots on target while you are completely tired which is a very um, realistic way of training instead of going to the range and putting your things on the table and just sit down and have a rest and hit the target. It's like, that's okay if you want to zero your rifle. But if you want to become effective with it, you have to, you have to run with it and shoot with it in all sorts of uncomfortable positions. You know, so anyways, but let's talk about this rifle. This rifle I purchased as, a, as my backup. I wanted a backup rifle. So my main AR is a it was i still have it but now this is my main rifle but my main rifle was a ddm 4v7 daniel defense and i, I love that thing i love it uh and then i bought this one because uh i thought well you know i'm getting up there on the number of rounds that i've shot through that rifle so if when i have to change the bolt carrier group or the uh or, or the barrel i want to have another one at the ready 
you know um i have other i have other rifles you know but i only have two ars i have uh i have an ak i have a 308 i have a 22 i have a a nine millimeter rifle i love them all but my main rifle uh will be um if the you know whatever happened my main rifle that i would like to have with me will be an ar definitely you know the most the uh uh the american classic this is right here is an american rifle it doesn't get any more american than this your ar-15 you know i uh i love ak's i love um all, all sorts of rifles but if i could only have one i'll have an ar so anyways this is a six hour m400 tread and i thought you know just have it as a backup well let me tell you i ended up falling in love with it i really really like this rifle yeah some people say oh it's an entry-level rifle that's why i thought it was going to be a backup it's like yeah i'll get something that is uh it has a name brand behind it you know like six hour and uh but it's just gonna be a backup well it's my main one now um i did the paint uh the paint job on this i camo it is wearing out really nice it's wearing out like boba fett has been carrying it look at that and i painted it with this magazine on so i have to that's why the pattern continues right there and um what i'm going to do with a D ddm4 v7 is i'm going to clone this one so on the ddm4 v7 i have a red dot and a magnifier that goes goes right and comes back in when you need it when, you know when you take it need to take a closer look at a target uh but now grabbing that one feels weird and that's the thing about rifles guys you uh you can have all sorts of rifles and different setups um and you won't be good with any of them you have to choose one you have to choose one setup that you like the most and run it and gun it a lot just train with it train with it as as often as possible uh even though we train with the mutual assistance group every other Sunday, uh, sometimes I'll just throw my rifle in the truck and on, on my way to war, just I'll swing by the range and just do a drill, do some drills, you know. So um, I'm going to clone my other AR to be exactly like this. I'm going to remove the red dot and the magnifier. I'm going to put the same LPVO, going to make sure everything's the same. I'm going to put the same flashlight, um, you know, the same uh, hands up. I want him to feel the same. Uh, because there is no other way to be a good a good rifleman you have to use the same rifle a lot to become good um and that's uh that's my message but that's that's what i believe it's cool to collect all things if you're into collecting th uh things and them looking differently and having different setups that's great but choose one that you like the most and at least clone it once that way you have a spare that feels the same that every time you bring it up that you know those crosshairs or that um uh, or that red dot or whatever system of optics you use is on the same spot that it feels the same on 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 the pocket of your show on your of your shoulder you know it feels everything just everything the same um i have the uh, you know um the advantage of living here in the country so yeah, you know, people see me walking like this sometimes, cars, I wave by, nobody really gets alarmed. So just mind your surroundings. Uh, if you want to LARP like me and put on your gear and uh, test it, I believe it's necessary, guys. I have a friend that uh, bought an AR when um, he thought that uh, Hillary Clinton might become the president. And he said, they're going to buy an AR-15. AR so he bought it. He bought an AR. It's a beautiful, beautiful, I can't even, it's an expensive one. And he uh, told me, hey, you want to see my AR? And I said, yeah, bring it. So he brought it. And I see this beautiful piece of machinery. And I said, how do you turn the red dot on? And he said, I don't know. And I said, well, you've never turned it on? He said, no, I just, I bought it because I thought Hillary was going to be president and they could be banned. And I said, okay, so you don't know if it's zero. He said, no, I've never used it. And he's had it for, it was then like two, three years you know, after the election. And he, it was under his bed that rifle right there is useless there is nothing he can do with that rifle if something happens and he needs to protect himself his home or or he needs to go do the things uh, with a rifle he didn't even have a sling on so that rifle is useless 
So if you're going to have a rifle or if you're going to have several rifles, choose your favorite one, use it a lot. And if you have another one that's similar, like an AR or two AKs or whatever you're into, clone your favorite. Put the same optic, put everything at the same distances, that put the same buttstock, uh, the same, um, same optic, same uh, hand stops, same flashlight, everything in the same place. That way, whichever you grab, when you bring it up, everything's going to feel like home. Anyways, guys, that's the message. Uh, hopefully, I can make some videos with the boys. I want to make a video about how to approach forming a uh, mutual assistance group because I believe, guys, that grouping together in our communities is the way to normalize or to perpetuate normalcy for our loved ones, which is the whole purpose of a militia or a mutual assistance group is citizens getting together to perpetuate normalcy in uncertain times for your loved ones and your communities. That's it. That's the whole goal. That's the whole goal. There's no, no saving the republic here. You can only control your community. You can only band together and be tight with the people in your community. Okay, that's, that's, how, that's how this works. We are not going to, to, uh, to save the Republic. You can only worry about your, your town and then your county. That's as, that's as far as I think as any big group can control, you know, and, be, and, and, and make sure that uh, they're going to keep things, whatever normalcy means at the time, whatever normalcy means at that time, you're going to keep it together for your loved ones and your community. Anyways, guys, this is Prepping Dad Going Dark. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Happy weekend.